Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you guys are doing great today. In this video of Facebook Marketing Course, I'm going to teach you Audience Insight Tool. Well guys, I'm going to give you a full overview, full tutorial so that you can master this tool. And you might be thinking that what is the use of this tool? What is the benefit of using Audience Insight Tool? So let me give you an, a little bit of overview that this tool can help you to build an audience in advance so that when whenever you are creating your campaign you can directly use the saved audience which you have created using audience insight tool right so you can create multiple audiences according to your uh, different different products different different services right now let's directly get into my facebook account so that we can learn more about facebook insight tool <music> So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my meta business suit. Now I have to visit my ads manager. So I'm going to my ads manager here. Now, once you are in your ads manager, go to all tools. In all tools, you have to scroll all the way down to the list. And here you'll be able to see this insights option in anal analyze and reports menu, right? So this is the insights option. Click on this. And once you click on insights option, it will ask you to re-authenticate. But I have already done the re-authentication. Re Basically, you might know that in order to run Facebook ads, you have to turn on your two-factor authentication, right? And here it will ask for the re-authentication. So I've already done that. So I don't have to do that again. Now, here, this is the overview. Basically, let me click on show me later, right? So this is how your audience insight tool or dashboard looks like now you have to click on audience and here you can create your own audience so that uh, after creating that particular audience you can use those audience in your future campaigns right so how you can create those audience right now we are in the current audience tab as you can see here and we are getting the our page data that we do have only two followers and there's no uh, data related to age and gender top cities top countries because we don't have followers in this page this is totally a new account right i have created this account to just to show you all the demos now if you want to create your own audience you have to click on potential audience now here you can see the potential audience it is around 409 million to 481 million so this is the audience size you can get obviously you have to filter it out you can't show your ads to 481 million audience size, right? Now, if you scroll a little bit down here, you'll be able to see all the uh, data matrices like age and gender, 30%, 34% are women in 409 million, right? So in this uh, audience bracket, audience size, there are 34% women and 65% men, male, right? And th these are the top cities, Delhi, Kolkata and these cities are in India because I'm in India and my account is in India. So according to my account, this is the data which Facebook is showing me, right? Top countries, India, 100%. Then top pages. These are the top pages which are trending on Facebook, right? So these are the overall data, basically the general data. Now you have to filter it out and create your own audience. Now. You can click on filter option and here you can filter the audience and at the end you can create your audience right now let's say i'm going to select the location first so my target city will be i'm not not going to target the whole country i'm going to target the city my target city will be delhi then mumbai because I sell digital marketing courses, right? We do have product and services related to digital marketing, right? So I'm going to select those metro cities where I assume that my audience will be there, right? So after Delhi and Mumbai, Kolkata, then one more city, Bangalore. So these are the four cities I have selected. Now, as you can see, my audience size has dropped down to around 50 million from 400, 480 million to 50 million only, right? Now, again, I have to filter it out a little bit more. Now, I have to select the age bracket. So, age bracket will be around 18 to 
30. 30 will be the max. I don't want to go above that in this particular audience, right? As I already told you that you can create multiple audience, multiple audiences and you can use those audiences, different, different audiences in your campaigns, right? Now, audience sizes dropped a little bit more. Let me click it. Then here, the gender preference will be all because anybody can learn digital marketing, right? But if you have a product uh, which can be sold to only men, so you have to select here men or women, right? So it is up to you, up to your business nature. Then here we have to select the interest that which type of interest my audience can have. So obviously, digital marketing. Digital marketing. I have selected, oops, digital marketing. This one is fine. Now, my audience size has dropped down to only four to five millions right so i have to add few more interest over here i'm going to add seo is there seo no oh uh, let me add show sh search engine optimization full form of the seo right search engine marketing would be fine not optimization because it falls under software category so i'm selecting search engine marketing so you have to Think about the proper interests that your audience can have, right? So if, if you are selecting wrong interests, then your campaign might get totally fail and you will end up losing your hard earned money, right? Now, social media marketing. So these are the three interests I have selected. Now my audience size is around five to six million. Perfectly done. If you want, you can select the languages, but I don't want to add any languages right now. Now, just after creating, basically after adding all the filters, you have to click on create audience and here you have to name your audience. So this will be my digital marketing audience, right? And hit the save audience button and your audience has been saved now you can use this audience in your future campaign whenever you are creating your campaign you can use that particular audience you just have to uh, search the name digital marketing audience which i have selected right now you can create more audiences with uh, using the same method which i have created basically which i have used right now so this is how you can use audience insight tool in order to create your own audience on filtered audience so that you can use those audience audiences later right i hope you learned from this video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this playlist with your needy friends who want to learn facebook marketing we have shown you whole organic marketing now we are into our paid marketing in, in facebook so this is a once stop solution for facebook marketing so go check it out our playlist and don't forget to share i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye